With this one product, your dull skin tone brightens up, fine lines disappear, and even your skin texture improves? We're gonna dive deep into everything you need to know about vitamin C from A to Z right here on Western TV. Hey Westrenders, it's Yunha. Once you start getting into skincare, vitamin C is one of those ingredients everyone looks into at least once, right? Most of you probably already know that vitamin C is great for brightening your skin tone. But today, I'm gonna dive even deeper and show you everything this powerhouse ingredient can really do. I'll walk you through how vitamin C works on the skin, why it can feel irritating for some people, and what alternatives you can try if that's the case. That's gonna be the alternative guide to vitamin C. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now let's go! Vitamin C, also known as all ascorbic acid, when we're talking about skincare ingredients, is a water-soluble vitamin with powerful antioxidant properties. But did you know its antioxidant abilities aren't just good for preventing aging? Vitamin C actually plays a role in regulating skin cell activity and is directly involved in collagen production too. So, what exactly does vitamin C do inside the skin? First, it neutralizes something called ROS or reactive oxygen species in the skin. These ROS are basically free radicals that form naturally when your skin is exposed to UV rays, pollution, stress, or inflammation. And if you leave them unchecked, they start attacking important structures in your skin like proteins, cell membranes, causing damage. That leads to dullness, loss of elasticity, and faster formation of wrinkles. Vitamin C stops in and transforms these harmful molecules into safer forms, helping to protect your skin. You can think of it as like a cleanup crew, getting rid of those aggressive substances that throw your skin off balance. When there's less ROS around, there's also less collagen breakdown and less inflammation. That means your skin is in a better place to regenerate itself. Over time, you get smoother skin texture, less visible aging, and a healthier, brighter complexion. Now, here's another major job vitamin C does. It helps your skin produce collagen. Collagen is a structured protein that gives your skin its firmness and bounce. But to build collagen properly, your body needs enzymes called proline hydroxylase and laser hydroxylase. These enzymes add hydroxyl groups to amino acid chains, which is a crucial step in forming collagen's triple helix structure, the thing that makes it stronger and resilient. Vitamin C helps these enzymes do their job. In simple terms, without vitamin C, your skin can't form strong collagen chains, and that means less firmness and more sagging and wrinkles. That's why when your body lacks vitamin C, collagen production slows down and your skin becomes weaker and more prone to signs of aging. Vitamin C literally supports the scaffolding of your skin, which is why it's one of the go-to ingredients for boosting elasticity and reducing wrinkles. And this is exactly why vitamin C is a staple in anti-aging routines. It plays a key role in keeping your skin firm, smooth, and useful. And there's one major super important role that vitamin C plays. It helps stop an enzyme called tyrosinase. Tyrosinase is essential for producing melanin, the pigment that gives skin its color. When vitamin C blocks the activity of tyrosinase, it slows down melanin production right from the very beginning. In other words, it stops pigment from forming before it gets started. That's why vitamin C helps fade dark spots, hyperpigmentation, and uneven tone, making your skin look brighter and more even over time. This is also why most people associate vitamin C with brightening. It's because of this melanin-suppressing action. And lastly, vitamin C helps protect the skin's lipid barrier. Lipids are the fat that live on the outermost layer of the skin, things like ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids. They work together like a shield, defending your skin from moisture loss and external irritation. But here's the thing, those lipids are pretty sensitive and can get damaged easily by UV rays and stress. 
Vitamin C helps prevent those lipids from oxidizing and keeps them stable and functional. So, with a healthier barrier, your skin can hold on to moisture better and it becomes less reactive to outside stress. That's why even sensitive or dehydrated skin types can benefit from vitamin C even though we usually think of it just for brightening or anti-aging. A lot to take in, right? To make it easier, I've put together a simple chart to show how vitamin C works in your skin. Let's take a look. But even though vitamin C does so many great things for your skin, it's actually a pretty tricky ingredient to work with. It's super sensitive to water, light, and oxygen. So it can oxidize easily and sometimes cause irritation too. If you've ever felt a stinging or tingling sensation when using vitamin C, you're not alone. Wanna know why that happens? First, it's because vitamin C needs a low pH environment to work. To absorb properly into the skin, vitamin C needs to be in an acidic formula, usually with a pH between 3.0 and 3.5, but that level of acidity can sometimes feel harsh on sensitive skin and might even cause breakouts or redness. Second, irritation can happen when it's used at a high concentration. When the formula contains more than 10% of pure vitamin C, the chance of irritation goes up. Plus, higher concentrations are more likely to oxidize when exposed to light, air, or heat, which can make the product less effective or even harmful to the skin. And finally, when vitamin C oxidizes, it can act as a pro-oxidant, meaning it can actually promote oxidative stress instead of preventing it. If a product isn't stored properly and the formula becomes unstable, it can end up doing more harm than good. That's why making vitamin C more stable is one of the most important things in skincare formulation. Some products include other antioxidants like ferulic acid or vitamin E to support stability, or they mix in soothing ingredients to reduce irritation. So, just because a product has a high percentage of vitamin C doesn't automatically make it better. What really matters is how well it's absorbed by the skin and how well it's formulated to resist oxidation. If you have sensitive skin, it's much safer to start with a more stable, lower irritation form of vitamin C instead of jumping straight into high potency L-ascorbic acid. If poor vitamin C feels too harsh on your skin, don't worry, there is a gentler alternative, vitamin C derivatives. These are modified forms of vitamin C that absorb into the skin and then convert into active ascorbic acid after they penetrate the skin. This way, you still get the benefits of vitamin C but with much less irritation. Now, let's compare poor vitamin C and vitamin C derivatives using two different products. We will take a closer look at each formula to understand how these ingredients actually work on your skin. Let's start with the Dear Clear's Freshly Juice Vitamin Drop. The star ingredient here is ascorbic acid, which is the pure form of vitamin C. It helps brighten the skin by inhibiting melanin production, boosts collagen synthesis, and provides antioxidant protection. It also contains Centella acetica extract, known for its soothing and healing properties. It helps calm the irritation that can sometimes come with pure vitamin C. Citrus genus fruit extract is another antioxidant-rich ingredient that contains natural vitamin C and flavonoids, supporting the overall brightening effect. To top it off, the formula includes EGF peptides and amino acids, which help repair and strengthen the skin barrier. So, although it uses poor vitamin C, it's methodically formulated to minimize irritation while still delivering visible results. Now, moving on to the Dear Claire's Freshly Juice Vitamin Charging Serum. This one features 3 o ethyl ascorbic acid, a stable vitamin C derivative that's much less prone to oxidation than poor ascorbic acid. What makes this ingredient special is that it maintains a similar structure in molecular made to poor vitamin C, meaning it offers great efficacy with better stability. The formula also includes niacinamide, 
which we all know is a superstar for improving skin tone, regulating sebum, and strengthening the skin barrier. When combined with the vitamin C derivative, niacinamide can boost the overall brightening and skin improving effects. You will also find monocosocide, a soothing component from Santala Isetvika and beta glucan, which helps deeply hydrate and support the skin's immunity. So, the serum is a great option for those who want the benefits of vitamin C, but in a gentler, more skin-friendly formula. Pretty interesting, right? If you're not sure which one suits you best, don't worry. We've put together a simple summary in the next section to help you decide. So, we've talked about vitamin C, but before we wrap up, make sure to follow these tips for the best results. One, if the product has a low pH, patch testing is a must for sensitive skin. Test it on your wrist or behind your ear to see if it causes any irritation before applying it to your face. Two, avoid using vitamin C with retinoids, AHA, or other strong actives right after application. Vitamin C can already be irritating on its own, and combining it with other active ingredients might increase skin sensitivity. Keep that in mind. 3. Store the product in an airtight, light blocking container. To prevent oxidation and keep your vitamin C fresh for longer, it's important to minimize exposure to air and light. I personally store mine in the fridge. What about you? If you have any other storage tips, Share them in the comments, please. 4. Always use sunscreen with vitamin C. Vitamin C is sensitive to light, so many people prefer using it at night. But when used during the day, it actually helps suppress melanin damage caused by UV rays. That's why it's even more important to apply sunscreen to prevent oxidation. You already know sunscreen is a must, right? Find a sunscreen that works for you and maximize the benefits of your vitamin C. Today, we went beyond just talking about vitamin C as a great ingredient. We explored how it works on a deeper level, why it can sometimes cause irritation, and how its derivatives differ as alternative options, all from a skincare science perspective. If you found today's content helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. We will keep creating more useful content, so if there is anything you'd like to see, feel free to leave a comment anytime. Thank you for joining me on the skincare journey today. See you next time!